Hello everyone, we are back. Okay. So, Viper, what are you doing? Uh, she's going to have a good sit down in front of that statue and just uh, think about death for a while. Mm-hmm. Is it uh, to any particular end? Or what are you thinking about? I don't know if God's grant boons or not. Um, but sure would be nice to have one. <laughs> So I think that it sounds, I think there is an active difference in what you are doing from what V and Dorothy did. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be an appropriate uh, skill roll for this? <laughs> hmm. I don't know if it's... Okay, let me describe how I had intended to do it just uh, fictionally and mm -hmm. see if that affects anything. Um, what she does is she... Uh, she sort of... Uh, gets, uh, gets one of those floor pillows in front of the statue and just uh, sort of uh, sits on it in the lotus position and just um, stops breathing. Uh, and Viper can hold her breath for six and a half hours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, how? I, I don't doubt you, but I'm... I'm Curious. Uh, let's see. Um. Well, her con score is thirteen. Um. Let's see. Aquatic one. I have to find. Let's see. There's so many things on the sheet. <laughs> I calculated it, but I didn't uh, actually write out the full text of everything. Aquatic one, uh, she may hold her breath for a number of minutes equal to 15 times the constitution score. So 15 minutes times 13, okay. Mm-hmm. And Pathfinder Basics Aquatic doubles that. <laughs> Okay, so 30 times 13. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Which is 390, which is six and a half hours. <laughs> and because she's a martial artist, <laughs> if it needs to be longer than that, uh, sh I can spend an action die to add uh two hour uh two times con modifier hours wow wow <laughs> so two more hours on top of that mm -hmm. her <laughs> action die spent yes <laughs> well you don't have to breathe for six hours that's cool <laughs> <laughs> so that's what uh, viper meditating about death looks like so, what skill roll do we think would be appropriate? Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but I wonder if this is why it takes her so long to find information <laughs> in the library. <laughs> the lack of oxygen <laughs> to her brain. <laughs> <laughs> um... How about athletics? Since that okay. covers swimming and presumably diving. Okay. 
Which I will do that. And feeling froggy, so I will throw an action die on this after I roll it. I roll 17. And action die adds one. Great. 18. <laughs> okay. Um, so you sitting there holding your breath for six hours. I wheel you into the deaf room at one point. <laughs> um, I'm sure if anyone could tell that she's not dead, it would be them. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, I think you're vaguely aware of uh, the occasional movement of people around you. Um, not that you hear them, but you can feel a slight breeze of their passing or catch a glimpse out of the corner of your eye. And after six hours and 20 minutes... <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> I'm sure she's doing a lot of uh, staring at that statue and remembering <laughs> the face of the worm that she actually saw one time. Mm -hmm. Your vision begins to fade. And the room around you darkens, except for that statue, that writhing statue in front of you. And it removes itself from its position floating in the void around you. And moves through the emptiness towards you. What do you do? I think this 18 in athletics means the Viper maybe probably successfully keeps her heart rate low <laughs> and doesn't uh, black out at this moment. <laughs> So you don't take any action, you remain still? Yes. Okay. It gets closer and circles around you from the top of your head and it moves lower and it stops itself where the spike is and taps it gently and much like before you can feel it resonate but this time there is a chill that runs through it you can feel a cold where it pierces you that deepens and you swear you're going to have frostbite after this around that old scar what do you do let's bring my trap on the worm <laughs> <laughs> and to grapple <laughs> yes let's begin to grapple <laughs> oh what how do you react to that you continue to tough it out I think that's probably what Viper's instinct would be okay whether that's the thing that makes most logical sense, I can't say. <laughs> what do you want to roll for that? That sounds like it might be fortitude. Or will. Yeah. Hmm. It's probably will. Actually. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. I'm going to roll that will save. That's a 27. Nice. Okay. 
the chill spreads through your body. You can feel it enveloping first your torso and then your extremities. It spreads down your limbs to your elbows and knees. Then your calves and forearms, wrists and ankles and fingertips. It begins creeping up your neck this dire cold. You feel like you should be shivering from the cold, but you don't. Like your body has skipped through the stages of hypothermia and straight it, on into torpor. <laughs> yes. And then the worm moves up to your ear and mm -hmm. it says brave go and uh, if there's anyone else in the room at that moment, they're probably extremely surprised when Viper sharply inhales a huge breath <laughs> and opens her eyes. She just turns the room into a vacuum, removes all yeah. other air from the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you open your eyes, and the statue is back in its alcove. You feel your fingertips and toes tingling, but there is no cold. There is no uh, chill to your body. The spike within you, you can still feel it vibrating to such degree. It's not vibrating violently, to be clear, mm -hmm. but your sensation of it feels incredibly precise. And you can tell that it is slowly stilling it's not it is when I say slowly stilling I mean slowly stilling okay like it is almost entropic in a sense mm -hmm. um, so uh, if you turn to page 311 of the rule book. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Page 311. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, for those who aren't looking at the rule book, that is the uh, Holy Paths uh, page. <laughs> mm hmm. And on there is the Path of Death. So you will have the first step in the path of death for the rest of this adventure okay which uh death one each of your attacks against the living creature inflicts two additional damage you may also cast death watch at will yeah <laughs> right as hell um I have no clue what Death Watch does. I'm pulling it um, up. Yeah, I was about to say I'm going to have to look up a spell there it is. for my You instantly head. know the type and state, alive, dead, or wounded, of each character you can see in the area. Hmm. So can you tell me what Dorfie is? <laughs> <laughs> is that how Viper discovers that skill? Does she accidentally do it to Dorothy? <laughs> It's at will. <laughs> it is a 30 foot uh, range though, to be clear. Of each, hmm, that's interesting. It says of each character you can see, oh, in the area. The a area is capitalized to indicate the. Uh, yes, that's an important word. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, Viper had a productive day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess when <laughs> that's you. That's a good nap. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up feeling like death. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Uh, so I guess you, when you leave the barrow, it's like nightfall. Uh, where are you gonna head? Uh, probably back to the embassy, unless I see someone on the way. Okay. Just walk it. All right. Dorothy, what shenanigans are you getting up to? No, you guys. <laughs> um, no, no real shenanigans. Just, uh, just doing her little gremlin thing. <laughs> Indicating what exactly? <laughs> Um, honestly, I think she goes to the library and does some read more reading about the god of death. <laughs> you know, gremlin stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, she does it in an off-putting way, but, yeah. <laughs> Her whole existence is just off-putting. <laughs> okay, um, are you looking for anything in particular? Um, actually... Um, instead of that, I want to look up land deeds in the area and, like, what that land is worth. Okay. Because that should be public record. Should be is the pertinent etymology. <laughs> hmm. Where would... Yeah, there's probably some building that has that. Who would handle that? I think the university... The university is, like in this weird sort of municipal government position of enclave due to its founding. Um, so there's probably a university building that has those materials. Uh, so I guess make an investigate roll to have a look through those books. Uh, 14? I'll spend an action day. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not how you roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, so 17. 17. Okay. Hmm. How many books would be here? Probably several. Uh, so give me 2d6. We'll see how many hours this takes you. 11 hours. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Ah, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you are going to be able to find out the value of that land in 11 hours. In the meantime, let's go over to Madam V. V, where are you headed? Oh, uh... Hmm... Well, I figured I would I would go and visit um what's her face? Violet Broadwing. That's the I one. Was, That's the face. I was about to call her Lavender. <laughs> Violet good old Violet Broadwing. Uh who I believe last I last we spoke, um, was making herself comfortable on on the uh the quad Labette. Yes. She has. How's that going? Um, so you get to the ship, and uh, Maybell is on deck training uh, some of the crew. Uh, those that uh, were, were tasked with being trained by her during a short during time aboard, or the time uh, at dock. And she sees you coming and she says, Ah, uh, Captain, how is the afternoon treating you? Oh, just lovely. Took a, took a wonderful ride out into the countryside. Uh, and, and just getting back now. Uh, how, how is training going? It's going fairly well. Um... No one has uh, injured themselves thus far, which is always good to see. Fantastic. It's wonderful to hear that, yes. Have you seen um, Violet Broadway? Ah, yes. The young lady. Yes. 
I recognize that she did show up with a permission slip to come aboard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like okay. <laughs> Go on. <clears throat> she did. Are you certain it wasn't forged, Captain? <laughs> Maybe it sounds like you have uh, thoughts on the matter. Well, we do technically have the room in the hold for her luggage. Sure. But I believe she brought more things aboard ship than you did, Captain. <laughs> well, that's saying something. Well, I, I will I will go and uh, see what the damage is. There's a clawfoot bathtub in the <laughs> hold, Captain. <laughs> I seem excessive. I don't know where she thinks she's going to get that much hot water. I do wonder. The crew well, certainly aren't going to provide it. Hanar has made that quite clear. That doesn't surprise me in the least. The only bad news is the tub's not big enough for you to use personally. <laughs> <laughs> that thought absolutely crossed my mind. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big tub. That's real big. That's a swimming pool. That's a, that's a jacuzzi. <laughs> Gracious. Well, um, I will have a talk with our good Rod right Wing about um, the luxuries that she can reasonably expect to have on this ship. Which it, uh, that is possibly not on the list. <laughs> Yes. She's also not aboard ship. Is she not? No. Okay. She said she had a tea engagement somewhere in the <laughs> city. As one does, yes. Well, I will go, I will go and see about uh, the, the specific damage that she has done to our, to our hold. And, uh, and I will see what can be done. Carry on. Of course, Captain. Baremi comes by and says, in the meantime, we're turning that tub into tater storage. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can take a bath in taters. <laughs> well, don't say like that. Don't tell police. So how is it down there? What's the what's the damage? Well, uh, oh, are you go are you asking Maybell or are you going down into the hole? No, I'm gonna go see with my own. I've got um, three, two and a half eyes. I can I can go see. Okay. <laughs> um, so sell yourself short. You've got at least two and two thirds eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so down in the hold, there's, you know, like the uh, stores for the ship. Um, it, actually, as you are aboard the ship, you can see that the ballista are set up. Where do you have them set up? Like, both in the front, one in the front, one in the back, on either side, on both on one side. What are the, what are the firing arcs? Because... I'm not going to be, like, they're wheeled, so they can be turned, right? But, you know, obviously, the, it's pretty hard to fire over uh, on targets on the port side if the ballista's on starboard. Sure. I think I think one in the front and one in the back makes the most sense, um, because they can then you can flip either side fairly easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright, so yeah, the ballistas are set up. Um, Marvelous, beautiful, I love it. 
Uh, I think as you are like you my go favorite sentences. <laughs> <laughs> you go into the hold and uh, Bear Me is down there with Manny, and um, there's just like this. Uh, basically a tarp laid out and the tarp has like a bunch of grommets in the corners and there's a rope through it to like quickly pull it tight and turn it into you know like a sack basically <laughs> the biggest um uh, the drunk would have landed if I remember the, 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 the like the bindle the, stick the bindle stick yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh spread out on that tarp is uh, ten boarding pistols and a blunderbuss. <laughs> ah, marvelous. Uh, Bear Me turns hearing you say that and says, Oh, Captain, um, we don't have any shot for these. No? N no. Okay. We just... Manny says that, uh, just the weapons were acquired. Um, I figured I probably shouldn't um, ask further than that. <laughs> you can if you're if you're curious. Well, I mean, I'm not <laughs> stupid. I did hear about the gunfight. Well, look at you putting two and two together. <laughs> As quartermaster, it is my job to do your math, Captain. <laughs> you do just a, just a stand-up job. All right. Well, uh, I, I suppose I will um, see to getting uh, some some um, ammo for you. Well, that would be good. We we're good for the bows, but uh, and the, the ballista. But um, is that yeah. the is that the plural of ballista? Y yes. Ballista? Yes. I don't know that. How charming. Ballista. <laughs> the ballista at the club limit. Oh, I love how that sounds. Wonderful. Uh, well... Jeremy's definitely giving you a weird look as you muse about the lyricalness of the heavy weapons that you just loaded onto the ship. <laughs> well, oh, um... The further question is when we have this. I, I, well, I suppose this is a question for Hannah or um, or the person I just finished talking to, whose name I, I Maybell. immediately forgot. Maybell, um, which is uh, how to distribute uh, these amongst the crew. Jeremy uh, says, um, Hannah did have some thoughts on that. Uh, she suggested um, keeping them on deck in a barrel, sealed tight. Uh, the reason for that being that they don't exactly have a lot of range, so they're only going to be good for either boarding actions or defending against those. Right. So, you know, keeping them close at hand in a watertight container, and then when it becomes necessary, distributing them to the crew. That's not a bad idea. She knows her stuff very well. <laughs> Another series of questions I feel I can probably put two and two together about. That's very good to hear. Uh, just very quick on the math. Is there anything else? Um, well, uh, myself and Serfina have been making some good progress on, uh, forging, uh, knives and hatchets for the crew as requested. Fantastic. And, um, Bellswell, Chicanery, and Bixby, uh, I think they've finished the flag and are just, um, in the process of dyeing the sails as requested. Oh, I'm so excited to see, to see how that, how that looks. Yes. I, I think they did a good job. I look forward to seeing it uh, for myself. Bear well, me. Sounds... such a fucking cinnamon bun man. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like it's all, all is well on the quad Uh Have well... you heard of... Oh, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. 
Um, did Maybell mention uh, what the good lady Broadwing has brought uh, aboard the ship? Maybell did mention a claw-footed bath. Yes. That is uh, the start of uh, her items. <laughs> The most extravagant of them. One might say the most extraneous. Sure, since we mm. uh, take three to four day uh, journeys. Yes, one only needs a bath every week. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gestures like to a corner of the hold. And you can see that there's like... There, there, there is a full armoire there. Oh, Lord. A, a claw-footed <laughs> bathtub. There's some very fine traveling bags with them. There's, there's even, like, a uh, martial combat dummy. She's got to practice her CQC on something. If she, if she needs to practice, if she needs to spar, there's plenty of sailors on board who will be happy to spar with her. There's also a weapons rack, like a small one, and there's like four rapiers. Four? Yeah. How many hands does she have? Uh, do you ask that? Yes. Uh, That's a legitimate question, but you have mm -hmm. met her before, so... I have. Well, um, she has two, Captain. Uh, she said that they're for her different uh, dueling outfits. Of course they are. How many... Okay, how many duels does she expect to get into? Uh, she said something about you saying something about uh, <laughs> this being dangerous, <laughs> these voyages... When is she going to find the, ch the time to change if she's wearing the wrong dueling outfit? Um, you're the stage performer. You'd know quick change better than I would, Captain. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> the true reason <laughs> Madam V has the quick draw fee. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Is this everything? Is this the extent of it? Oh no. There's more in um, the sleeping quarters. I don't know how she thinks she's going to sleep on a hammock with all of that stuff stuck underneath it. It's not really a hammock at that point then. It's just a blanket you, you've thrown across some stuff. Okay. She can have three of these things. <laughs> I'll let you tell her that, Captain, unless you no, 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 give no, me will... written uh, permission to repurpose some of it. That's an interesting thought. What are, what are, you, what are you thinking? Um, well, a bathtub... Are you guys just going to steal stuff from her? Not going to steal it. <laughs> I... The word clearly repurposing. <laughs> I uh, have heard that one can make um, booze in a bathtub. We do Ooh, have yeah. potatoes. <laughs> Bear with me, is there not enough booze on board to your liking? Um, well... There's plenty on board, but it's that fish stuff that we got from the uh, sea devils. The fermented fish stuff. Do you not like it? Mm. Uh, my, my thought is that whether or not we like it, um, I suspect that the crew might prefer something more... Uh, Familiar. Familiar. And like, we could always. Like bathtub potato booze. Ah. Uh, 
I'm sure there are a number of the crew who are more familiar with that than fermented fish. You make a good point. Hmm. Also, uh, we have at least one chemist aboard. I'm sure we could use it to... Well... Mm, the right alcohol is pretty flammable. <laughs> I tell you what, I love where your head is going. I don't think this is going to go over well with our good friend, uh, Violet Broadwing, as she intends to put her body into it multiple <laughs> times. Mm. So if there, but if there is anything else you can re you can uh, find additional uses for on the ship. Mm. I am all yours. But the, the bathtub is off limits? I don't think the bath... I will I will float it. I doubt we will get anywhere with it. Alright. Um, if, if we do, I will be so surprised. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Uh, bring me your thoughts before you start doing anything. Of course, Captain. I wouldn't oh. go about turning that armoire into firewood without your permission. Perhaps we can heat her bath water with it. <laughs> Economical as always, Baramy. And that's what I'm here for. All right, good lad. Uh, I'm going to go and speak with our good friend. And if the, uh, unless there's something else? No, nothing else, Captain. All right, as you are. So you're going off to find Violet? Uh, I think so. Um, I think I think uh, my first route is uh, back to the embassy to talk to um, your friend and mine, Ingrol. Yes, that's her name. Yes. Um, and uh, see if she has a, a better sense of where um, where Violet spends her time. Um, and then after that, it should be uh, after tea time at that point, so I can catch her outside of her schedule, perhaps. Okay. Um, so Ingril, uh, she mentions... Oh, did you want to have a full scene with Ingril, or were you just trying to get the information about where she, you might find Violet? I'm all right with the abstract, yeah. Uh, um, so Ingril says that... Uh, let's see. Violet while saying she had a tea time she's probably just hanging out in a salon to be clear not like a hair salon like a you know french uh pre a salon if you will yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um hanging out there with uh other well to do uh people oh yes and so she could be there, like, basically the entire afternoon. Fantastic. Probably not there just for tea. No. Uh, no, there's lots of entertaining things in a salon. Yes. Um, what is the name of the salon? Um... Duchess Alentz, uh Parlor. Excellent. I love Duchess Alentz Parlor. The, the, uh, the raspberry tea there is just, just exquisite. Although you, you truly shouldn't get it after 2 p.m. because the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the tea has simply been steeping for too long. It's a, a bit uh, acidic. Uh, Ingril says, um, if it feels acidic to you, I suspect they might have not been giving you their best. They make it fresh constantly. How appalling. <laughs> well. One says the things one can in the ways that one uh, is capable, I suppose. <laughs> yes. 
I was I was just looking at my coin and lifestyle. <laughs> Uh, just, well, one, um, I, I, I feel like, I feel like, uh, Madame B has, has spent her, her fair share of time in salons across the city, um, for pleasure and for work, um, and I don't think I'm going to be able to buy that land with, uh, was this 71 coin? Um, even if I asked very nicely of, of our good friend, Violet Broadway. <laughs> Uh, so I guess this is a conversation of some kind, if, if we're trading in things. Mm -hmm. I really should have asked what the, what the, what the, the death cult's budget was. <laughs> <laughs> I think the implication was that uh, this is a donation. <laughs> I see, yes. Uh... I keep, I keep, I keep finding myself in positions to do business. <laughs> but I really would like to do some singing or perhaps shoot a man. <laughs> Preferably both. Or spear him through with a lance or with a noose. Either I'm not too picky as to whether or not which of those is chosen. But I can go and have tea. Can start with that. Hey, you could use at least one of those to pave the way for that uh, d deal. The the tea or the murder? Which one? What? <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to sing or kill someone, right? Yes. I figure at least one of those could uh, help loosen the purse strings. Hmm. Do I? Hang on, I have to look at my character sheet. Because, listen, I, I spend a lot of wonderful time building lore about Madame V that is not reflected at all in her stats. No, I haven't. I haven't impressed. I have that. Perform isn't a thing, is it? No. No, impress Hooray. is the... One might argue acrobatics or athletics for dance, as we have in the past. As we have in the past, yes. Um, okay, well... I'm going to go to Madam What's It's uh, Parlor Emporium and <laughs> mm -hmm. at, and uh, see if they have a, a stage I can borrow and and regale some folks with some impressive stuff and do those things. Okay. Um role-playing games. <laughs> hmm. You're in your captain's outfit, right? Um, I, I think so, yes. I think I'm still in my captain's outfit. I'm, well, I mean, hmm. No, I would have, I would have changed for the ride. Uh, for the ride out to, out to. Uh, so, it is, it is very nice, um, um, like, country riding clothes. Well, I could have changed when I got back to the to, to the boat. I do have a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost certainly did change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this was so my yeah. morning clothes and my evening clothes. And my, and, and my yeah, my, my, this is my tea coat. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be captained up. I think, I think I'm starting to uh, acclimate to that look. I think it looks very fetching on me. <laughs> Okay. Um, Can I count that as laundry? Yes. Where, where is that again? It's a <laughs> service. Yeah, plus one to user's appearance bonus for the current scene. It's three silver. All right. Spent. Okay. Do you have someone in the crew who does your laundry? I mean, as captain, it's not unreasonable. Like, you know, it's officers get perks. They do, they do. Um, oh, you're tipping them three silver. That's I, pretty good. That's all right. <laughs> I figure that also probably costs or covers the expenses. Materials and yeah. transport and yeah. Uh, 
has for someone in specific who does laundry on the ship. Uh, I mean, if well, I don't know, I don't know that my stuff at the moment need needed repairing. I know we have a a, a, a tailor on board, right? A seamstress of some kind. Probably. <laughs> I forget who. Uh, one of the sh not one of the steels, maybe. The chicanery. Yeah. 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 So. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, so you you show up to uh, the uh, Duchess Alent's parlor in your captain's outfit, and uh, the servant at the front door. This is in the merchant's quarter, to be clear. Um, the servant at the front door uh, opens it for you and uh, l lets you in. And uh, off the, the servant inside offers to take your coat and hat. Of course, of course. And hangs those up for you. Are you armed? Um, no. I don't think so. No, with an asterisk. I mean, you can have your derringer <laughs> on you since it is. We've established it is easy. It is small enough that you just can conceal it. Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a comfort item at this point. It's just sort of it's weird to not have it there, you know. <laughs> like yeah. a baby blanket, but you know, lethal. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly like a baby blanket, but lethal. You you got it in one. Um, yeah. So uh, I have that tucked away. Um, okay. Honestly, honestly, I think I forgot that I was carrying it. <laughs> You, <laughs> Sasha, or V? V. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, so this, this building is like a, a fairly large townhouse. It's probably of the same size as the giant embassy, but it's not proportioned for giants. It's proportioned for elves, humans, saurians, and katum. So you high, high ceilings. Mm, I mean, higher than a poor person's ceilings, <laughs> but you are, like, probably, you know, ducking under any light fixtures that are hanging. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be dodging chandeliers, I would assume. <laughs> yeah, you can stand up, but it's um, hard to tell and whether... And they're candle chandeliers, so it's, like, Ooh, high yes. stakes. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's hard to tell whether it's more inconvenient to stand up or, like, crouch and move through this place. I feel like at this point, I feel like at this point, um, Madame V has figured out how to be graceful in, like, a, in, like, a crouching position. <laughs> in, like, a, uh, this, this room is significantly too small for me kind of space. Yeah. Um, given how much time she spent being... Or trying to be graceful in those kinds of spaces. I feel like too, that's a that's a muscle she's developed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, um, you move through uh, the various rooms here, where you know there's uh, various conversations occurring. Some are small, close knit gatherings of people uh, talking. Some are like full rooms where. There are people having debates on topics, political and philosophical. And you find uh, Violet Broadwing. And she is uh, in one of those uh, close-knit groups uh, having conversation over tea, uh, sitting in some very fine furniture with a couple of other well-to-do people. Do I recognize any of the other well-to-dos? Um, I don't think so. Okay. You you might have like, you might you might recognize their faces, but I don't think you know like you're not acquainted with them. Okay. Um. Is there someone? playing a piano or something. Oh yeah, there's absolutely someone playing an instrument. 
Okay. Maybe not a... Hmm. Probably not a piano. Probably something softer. Like, uh... Like a, uh, playing a flute very quietly. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over to the musician and ask if they know any standards. <laughs> um, the musician's probably like, eh, what do you mean by standards? Because the people here have their usuals. Oh, tell me about those. What do they request? Um, what I'm playing now. Ambiance, they call it. Ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm positively metropolitan. Um, okay. Do you have anything um, a little bit more pep? Uh, or a little bit more drama? Yeah, but um, that's not what they pay me for here. How much are your rates? Hmm. So, uh, for a song, I'll take a silver. All right. Uh, do you know uh, Across the Water? Of course. Fantastic. Uh, I don't have the other accompaniments. Well, I d don't you worry about that. I, I, I will handle those. <laughs> All right. I'll, 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 skip a, I'll skip a silver this musician's way. And uh, fucking sing a goddamn song at these rich people. <laughs> Honestly, this is more for me. This is like I haven't, I really haven't gotten the chance to sing for a while, and like I mean, I've, I've still kept you know the instrument tuned, but, uh, but other than like an occasional glance at a, at a sea shanty, I really, really haven't um, gotten a chance to flex. I don't mean the, the, the way that you sing not on a, sing, a sea shanty is very big. You know, it's about volume. It's about <laughs> <laughs> Tumber, though you don't really get the the, the nuance that you do in a, in a small space like this one, so I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's uh, what does this look like? Th this musician's covering they're they're covering the flute part. How are you handling the other uh, accompaniments? Uh, well, um, I have um. I think that I like because I, I, th I think I think that the core, like the, the the split in the middle, um, I can sort of bend it to um to to make a cavity, um, and that I'm I am sort of like with with my hand sort of hitting like a drum, um, to to keep uh, percussion, and uh, between the two heads. Uh, doing the uh the melody and harmony um and and uh well probably probably the melody and bass because it's a because it's a flute that i'm accompanied by um, and and there's there's simply nothing to be done about not having a guitar that's just how it goes so <laughs> um but I, I i think i think it's a um i think it's an arrangement that uh that she has done with another vocalist so it sounds it sounds all right. Okay, is this like a ballad or some other type of song? Ah, uh, are there lyrics or just vocals? I think there are lyrics. Um, I think it is a. I think it's a short ballad. I think it's probably like three verses long. But it does have that sort of like storyness to it. Um, yeah. Okay. Give me that impress roll. I hate. I hate this. That's twenty one. Do you want to spend go. any action dice? Yeah. Fuck it. Uh. It's one d six. 
1d6, you're right, you're right, you're right. What does it add? Six? And that explodes. Hell yeah. <laughs> fucking hell yeah, it fucking does. Keep going. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So that's a... Uh, 12... 37. 37. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... So you knock it out of the park. <laughs> the, the musician who is uh, accompanying you knows the tune and like in terms of timing can keep up with you but clearly is struggling to keep up with you in terms of skill and nuance with, uh, with their instrument and can't match your phrasing that's for sure. <laughs> the um, by the end of the first verse, you have the attention of the people in the room, including Violet. By the end of the second verse, you have the attention of the people in the adjoining rooms. By the end of the third verse, you can see the people who were debating are poking their heads in through the doorways around the crowd that has gathered. And the song finishes, and there is a beat or two as people are wondering if that's it or not. And then they begin applauding. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Curtsies all around, presenting uh, my, my company host. Uh. <laughs> Marvelous. Well, that's what I was hoping to do, and now I've done it. <laughs> you, de you definitely get a bunch of people coming up to you and, like, introducing themselves and wondering if you, like, do parties. And <laughs> some of them recognize you from the stage and... Do raiding parties. <laughs> hey <-o! laughs> Some of them recognize you from your operas and... I didn't know that you came here or that you performed outside of the art center. And I think after like four or five people have come up to you, Violet pushes her way through the crowd. <laughs> um, and uh, is clearly a bit put off by the fact that she has to push her way through the crowd. She is <laughs> used to being the uh, center of attention you can tell and uh, she comes through um, you can tell it as she comes through you realize uh, she's got a rapier at her hip of course she fucking does <laughs> and uh, she says uh, Matt uh, Captain V uh, I wasn't expecting to see you here How well, that was a wonderful performance <laughs> Broadway. I'm pleased as much to see you here as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. You know, I just just haven't had uh, a chance to really flex in it a little bit. That was that was really nice. It was a. She she looks like she's going to correct you on the miss, and then <laughs> thinks better of it. <laughs> and uh... on my boat, you're a miss. <laughs> <laughs> She says, well, uh, clearly, um, you flexed quite well. <laughs> well. Won't you join us, uh, for some tea? I would love to, yes. And, uh, so, um, she... Hello, 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 it's very nice to meet you, very nice to meet you, oh, it's just, just absolutely charmed. Oh, I love your, your necklace, star. like, where, did, where, where, where have you found that? Is that a, is that from, um... The... No, 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 I won't guess. Where, where did you find it? <laughs> yes, she introduces you to a bunch of wealthy folk who don't matter to the plot. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they're listed in the credits. <laughs> <laughs> wealthy persons <laughs> one through four. <laughs> um, or salon guests one through four. Man who says, I say... <laughs> well and when they bring uh, tea for you uh, 
Uh, the servants also bring a very large pillow for you as well. Um, of course, thank you very much. <laughs> um, and I, I, I settle in um, uh, along along with them, and um, I, so so. What has been the the topic of conversation? What's what's a buzz? In, oh, in the okay. Yes, I, I actually I actually did have this, and then I forgot it for a moment. Um, <laughs> they're they're discussing. Um, the the vision that uh, was seen by all the diviners, and uh, discussing how they're going to get out of Enclave. Oh yes, 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 yes. Powerful stuff. Yes, and uh, Violet uh, says to you, "I was just uh, telling them about how my purpose on the ship is to find a uh, new beginning, we might say, uh, for my family." And I'm sure we'd be able to uh, do likewise for our friends here. As a as a land speculation, of course. Land speculation, of course. Yes, yes, yes. As a as a scouting mission, absolutely. That's a that's a, a very fine and noble thing to do. Um, and and yes, that all that sounds completely doable. Yes, my grandfather's already begun uh, purchasing Coast Guard ships uh, to begin uh, evacuating uh, those uh, who can afford it. Ah, yes. <laughs> that, that extremely potent caveat. Um, what are those running for? If that's not gauche to ask. Oh, duh. You have your own ship, Captain. I'm sure it wouldn't interest you. Oh, it it, it, it doesn't concern... Well, it sort of does. It, it, it sets the market right, doesn't it? I suppose that's true. Uh, well, uh, I am... <laughs> I am yet to become an expert on uh, voyages, of course. <laughs> um, right, soon. <laughs> Yes, uh, but uh, from from what I've heard from my grandfather, uh, they're going uh, for two hundred silver a day per trip, per person, um, not including uh, 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 um, amenities and uh, uh, possessions. Oh, I see. Uh, so l- luggage is, is extra. <laughs> yes, but the people can afford it, of course. Of course. Yes. Uh, no, no expenses to them. Well, uh, that seems like a like a a, a, a tidy business, um, as as your grandfather tends to run. Yes, uh, I'm learning from the best. It's part of the reason he's uh, sent me to accompany you, Captain. Certainly. No, I'm. I'm. This. I'm. I'm just curious. What. Uh, what are your goals personally aboard? I. I know. I know the purpose that you are serving for your family, and it was just uh, noble and well, uh, well serving for everyone involved. But what. What are you hoping to learn? What are you hoping to. To, acquire. For yourself. Oh, uh, experience. Just as broad as that. Uh, lots of lots of experiences you could have on the on a ship. Yes, of course. Uh, exploration, uh, a dash of danger, uh, getting to see what's beyond the walls of Enclave. Uh, you know. Mm, Getting to know some of the lower folk, those who, uh, you know, mend the sails and such. Yes, yes. These fucking dragons, man. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I'm, 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 I'm sure. Uh, we will uh, have you experiencing lots of. Uh, of uh, Board the ship. Uh, it's a, it's all hands on deck on those days. Um, 
So I I do I do see that you are already uh, prepared oh, for any I kind of never... danger. Oh. I had never considered that's where that idiom comes from. Bless your heart. Oh, this is going to be eye-opening for you on so many different levels, dear. I'm so excited for you. As am I. Now, I, I, I do wonder, uh, what what sort of trouble are you are you prepared for in town? And I sort of gesture at the, at the, the rapier by her, her side. Uh, you can outside of the merchant's quarter, of course, and considering the uh, not so long ago riots, uh, you never can tell what you might run into in the city. If I was on my grandfather's lands outside of the walls, I wouldn't need to carry this, but then again, there'd be nothing stopping me. Then again, there would there certainly wouldn't, would there? <laughs> not that there's anything stopping us here, of course. I what have my it? permits, after all. Do you? Oh, yes. A trifle. I, th I thought perhaps the, the, the fees would be uh, simply a thing that you waved off, but that's <laughs> astonishing that you went to the, went, went to the extent. But how, how lawful? Mm. Order is important. <laughs> how else to keep the markets going? I love to separate us from peace. <laughs> I sit my tea and I laugh just expansively. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sure I came here for something. <laughs> uh, oh, no. That's the most in character Madame V thing ever. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Lands, that's right. Land, Captain? I was just, well, I, 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 I took a ride earlier today, a very lovely ride out to the countryside. Um, and I was looking at, uh, I think, what must have been some of your, your grandfather's lands. Um, <laughs> Likely. Uh. <laughs> um. Why well, I don't have an, an, an end to this, do I? I don't like. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to pose this uh, right now. Um, I don't know how to be like. Hey, do you mind if I like have a hill? Do you mind if you just like donate one of those hills to, to the, the cult of the death god out there? Is that chill? I don't know. You might be able to spin it as a. Uh some sort of uh, <laughs> tax break yeah I was going to say tax break or uh, you know a goodwill humanitarian effort or possibly just purchasing a boon from the death god since uh, everybody's afraid of dying right now <laughs> straight up yeah <laughs> just fucking uh, they take crash or cr crash or get it I nailed it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one crash, please. <laughs> you can keep the kedit. <laughs> uh, I was actually out by the um the throw of the, of the quiet worm. Have you been there? Mm, no. Oh, it's oh a uh, um a really somber little place. Um, very, very, very quiet. Very quiet. Very beautiful. Um, and, um, and I went, you know, thinking about um, our, uh, th the way that things have been going recently and, and sort of, uh, my line of, line of business. Um, it, it is, it is good to um, our line of business, Captain. Our line of business. Thank you, pardon. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, it is. It is important to be on good terms with the, uh, with 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 the, the Death God, um, as we, uh, 
as we see uh, see them at every turn. Um, I think one of the uh, one one of the, uh, the well-to-do people says, "Oh, how dashing!" <laughs> <laughs> They're still dazzled by me. <laughs> <laughs> as well, they should be. Um, and so, um, I, I, would, I, would, I was just going in and making a donation. And, uh, and how to pitch this? Uh, I know if there's one thing fucking billionaires love, it's using philanthropy to make themselves seem humble. Ah, <laughs> yes. Compare the level of donation you can give to theirs, and yours is just nothing. <laughs> nothing, yeah. Um, I, I didn't. I I dropped no money there. I was like, cool, chill. Talk to you later. <laughs> she don't know um, that. They don't, they don't fucking know that. They don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, God. What's a what's a what's a thing in my budget that is still vaguely impressive? Um, a ballista. A ballista. <laughs> Here's a big old gun. This is for you, Death God. This is for your cemetery. <laughs> oh, I mean, I am I am the captain of the pirate ship, so perhaps it is it is uh, loot from something else. Um, Fish boots. Fish boots. <laughs> Uh, you would not technically be lying if you said you left a holy relic that you found on an adventure there. <laughs> I sure wouldn't, would I? Yes. Uh, from, from, from the Graven Guard. Um, yes. Uh, uh, part of the, part of the crew, um, that I, that I went with. Um, uh, we, 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 the we Graven banded together. What? The Graven Guard. They are, gosh, how to explain them. They need to roll that fame, make that fame roll, see if they know. <laughs> it's probably better off if they don't know who Viper is. Agreed. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just an extraordinarily important uh, figure in the, um, what's the island to the south? The south Aqualon. The south? To Aqu Aqualon, which we have, we have just returned from. Um, and uh, made, a, made a tribute there with the uh, um, that 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 holy figure um, for uh, for the journey, and I I personally feel much uh, much more at ease um, uh, with the, the the death gods. Um, um, what's the word? Gratitude, as as well as the cults. Give, give me an impress roll. Oh boy, I love to I love to I love to roll dice. That's a twenty-four, and I will spend an action die because I have them, and it's five. That's almost it's almost the end of the thing. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's a twenty-nine. Okay. Oh, a donation to the Death God for protection. Hmm. Well, with it. it if the captain is doing such a thing, then I should likely do the same. If, if I'm accompanying you and you seem to think it a good idea, I am here to learn after all. Uh, hey. Can I get, can I give you a, a, an insider tip? Because I know exactly the thing they, they oh. are looking for. Oh. The other thing rich people love, insider trading. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you the thing that is just going to send them over the moon? Oh, isn't that the domain of Sitsu? <laughs> That's how impressive it will be, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I tell her about the hell and the things and then all that. Yeah. Oh, yes. I think. I think my family does indeed own land there just a hill you say not even just, not even plowed not even plowed not even a full acre hmm. 
Uh, I, think, sure. I think that is doable. I should. Uh, I think my my mother would permit me that. Marvelous. Yes. Well. Hmm. <laughs> we'll, so. we'll get you on the Death God's good side in no time. She she just like uh, snaps her fingers. And uh, rude. Oh, God. And her rude. Her her valet. Uh, who basically blended into the background this whole time, comes forward and uh, hands her like quill and paper and she begins writing a note and uh, she folds it up and hands it back to the villette and uh, says Jesse, see that my mother receives this? And the valet nods and says, Of course, Lady Broadway. And then uh, she leaves. And she, like, gestures um, generously and says, Ah, such, uh, so lovely. I, I think I can already feel the boon. <laughs> Excellent. The, the reassuring chill down your, your spine, darling. You'll get used to it in, in no time. A, a chill it just down feels my like a sword scraping across your ribs, is all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think it's. I, I think that Madame V stays for a little bit longer and does small talk and whatnot, just to you know shield the fact that that was the point of the adventure um and then at at some point of course takes her leave yeah okay sings another song at some point (laughs) she's got a competent musician she's got a a a, a receptive audience why not Mm -hmm. uh dorothy is uh there anything you wished to do uh no I mean, I have 11 hours to sink in to my research, so. Mm-hmm. Nothing, nothing else you wanted to get up to? I don't think I reasonably could. Okay. Um, so, uh, where do you all meet up again? Should we do that next week? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. So, I will... Uh, take us back to the Viper just screen. in the hold of the ship eating a raw potato and staring closely at a clawfoot tub. Buddy. <laughs> oh. Uh. But, friend? <laughs> you good? <laughs> yeah, right there? Let's see. You've gotten the object of power for the old worm. Mm-hmm. You will be getting the true name in short order. You have a location for it. All you're missing is the summoning ritual, it sounds like. So for completing those three objectives, uh, y'all are level six, is that correct? correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, uh, That's 900 XP to all of you for completing those objectives. That will put uh, me at would be ten thousand three hundred and eight. Yeah. Numbers. <laughs> okay. Well, make sure your XP is updated. Um, thank you, everyone, so much for joining us on this. Um, Hmm. Uh, philanthropic adventure. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back again next week with more exciting tales of giving to the church. <laughs> uh, I have been your host and GM, Austin Ramsey. Uh, this stream has been presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role playing games with a rotating cast. You can find myself and the podcast at Not an Inn on Twitter. And I have been joined this evening by, of course, Christine. 
Hi, I've been Christine. Uh, sometimes you can find me at Not An Inn, and uh, speaking of Not An Inn, we are brewing up something kind of exciting for November, so stay tuned. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Our barf time out. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpio yeah, yeah. season, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Also with us this evening is, of course, Sasha. Hi, I'm, I've am been Sasha. You can find me on Twitter at Sasha underscore Renell. You can follow all my game dev stuff at TCabbage. You can buy some of them games at 22to22.itch.io and, and check out Spindlewheel at tcabbage.com slash spindlewheel. That's all the things. Wonderful. And of course, last but never least, Hadrian. That's me. I'm on Twitter at Hadrian and... Uh sporadically posting some art and uh, frequently taking money for it so <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> i'm glad to hear that's frequent <laughs> yes all right so once again thank you everyone so much for joining us we will be back again next week and until then i just want to remind everyone pay your allowances <laughs> don't get sparked Boo. bye we gave you that one <laughs>